Hi everybody, I am here at CES 2024 about to see some of the more unusual things that CES has to offer. The fun for me of shows like the Consumer Electronics Show is getting to see things that are still in concept or prototype phase, things I haven't seen before. I want to see something really unique, so let's check it out. All right, so right now I'm wearing these glasses from Vixian 01 to not make you have to go to the optometrist anymore, or at least not get new lenses every year. So there are lenses here that will automatically focus on whatever you're looking at, whether it's near or far, and adjust the lens thickness to what your eyes need. I mean, as a glasses wearer, I had to check these out. All right, so one of the products I was really excited to see this year at CES is the Displace Wireless TV. So this is a 55-inch, completely wireless television. Nothing to run through the wall, nothing to plug in, and it's got extra features this year as well. It can accept payments over on one side. It's got wireless charging built into the bottom, so if you get it with their stand, it would be able to charge. And if you don't get it with that stand, because this was my first question, if it's wireless, what's the battery life on this baby gonna be? 30 days battery life. My other question, I have to say, was if I wanted to plug in my PS5 or my Xbox Series X, is there HDMI 2.1? Because then if I'm having to run an HDMI, that kind of defeats the purpose of the wireless, right? So they have a base just over here that you can then plug your HDMI into and maybe put that in a closet or in a drawer somewhere so it's out of the way and you don't have to see any wires. Super cool. Okay, I was just pitched something like a Keurig for ice cream. It stores the ingredients in a shelf-stable pod and then I guess chills it right here in the machine. I have to try this. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's legit delicious though. Now, if you ever wanted to take your Nintendo Switch experience and make it big all from glasses, check this out. The Rain Neo Air 2 also has a joy dock to pair perfectly with your Switch. Y'all, I am playing Breath of the Wild right now on like a big massive screen in front of me. I'm thinking about the applications of, I don't know, being on like an airplane, right? And instead of having to look down, oh, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Instead of having to look down at your switch the whole time, you can just see right in front of you with something as simple as these glasses. Now, I will say they're pretty lightweight and excuse my, uh, my jumping right into a game that's not my own. But this is really cool. Where are my weapons? <laughs> so here we have the Ray Neo X2. I'm about to try them on. And these are AR glasses. They're on right now. How do I look? Right up here on the temple is the touch bar. And I'm going through a menu right now. I want to see what the video looks like as a potential live streaming and content capture device in the future. If I could IRL stream with these on, that would be so cool. Is there a way to see the view of what you're recording in the glasses after you're finished? Okay, perfect. So in the meantime, I can see what's going on around me because it's augmented reality and I just see that it's recording. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna go ahead and check out what I just recorded. Oh, I could do time lapse too. Take some photos as well. I see phone. Of course, I can listen to music with these while I'm out and about. Real time translations, which would have helped me very much when I was traveling. Maps is great for overlaid directions. So again, that's the Ray Neo X2 from TCL. Is this on your wish list? Let me know in the comments. All right, I am about to chat with an AI with face powered by ChatGPT that you could get for yourself for either $5,000 for a one-time payment or $1.99 a month. Let's see if this is something you would go for. Oh, hello. Yo, bro. How's it going? Yo, what can I do for you yo today? bro. Can you see me? Am I here? Hey. I know I'm really short. Yo, bro. Hi, Rich. Height is just a number. Ah. Do, oh. Remember, <laughs> it's all about confidence and embracing who you are. Being short doesn't define you as a person. Okay. Own your uniqueness and rock it with. Awesome. 
Awesome, bro. Awesome. You're one of a kind individual and your height doesn't define your worth. Keep this positive attitude and confidence shining. And you rock it. Why is he over there? I don't know, but he's telling me not to feel bad about being short. And I think it's hilarious. And he keeps calling me bro for some reason. All right, y'all, I have found it, the world's fastest shoe. I'm not kidding. These kind of look like moon shoes and Heelys had a baby, but you wear them on your feet and they're robotic shoes that make it feel like you're walking on like a people mover at the airport, except for that's just how you're walking with no people mover. These things are wild. They say the battery life right now is about an hour, but they take about an hour to charge. Right now they're made for more commercial use, think like, productivity of employees in warehouses, but when they become more mass produced and are available to the public, they're looking at a price point of around like $700-ish. What do you think, would they be for you? So one of the cool devices I got to see this year at CES is called Nimble, and it's an at-home nail salon. So. You just put your fingers in and it uses a combination of robotics and AI to give you a full manicure in less than 25 minutes. So they've kind of described it as Nespresso for nails. And I just think that's very cool. I heard that there's even like little robotic hands in there or things that will mimic hand movements to paint your nails. Gotta try it out. So right here, I am wearing the Hexar glove. And this is an untethered pneumatic haptic glove that works with virtual reality, augmented reality, extended reality, that allows you to feel digital objects at the touch of your fingers. Think of it like this, you're in a virtual reality rainforest and you wanna feel the raindrops on your fingers. It would be so cool, not just for gaming, but also if you think real world applications outside of that, like education and healthcare, maybe training surgeons to be of what it might feel like to be doing a specific procedure. The options are endless and I love seeing futuristic type prototype tech like this at CES. For me, this is what CES is all about. Okay, great. Yeah. If your soul is deemed pure, it will feel like raindrops. Yeah. Let's see. Place my palm in the fountain. The fountain is very far. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Like in the... Okay. Oh! Oh, hey! I felt the raindrops! That was cool. Now right here, we have the new Titan 18HX from MSI. This gaming laptop is rocking the latest and greatest 14th Gen i9. Ooh, baby, and an RTX 4090. And you know I love a light up trackpad. All right, so probably my favorite thing I've seen at CES is the hidden cable, hidden connector motherboard. This is a movement I was looking forward to seeing while I was here, and I'm in Asus's booth right now to check out what they're calling the BTF motherboard. What this means is the connectors are on the back of the motherboard, so you don't have to reach around with your cables and plug them into the front. I think this is gonna make building easier for people, and it makes for a really clean looking PC. But Asus, even takes it a step farther by making a proprietary GPU design so that you don't have the cables coming to the front of the GPU either. I think it looks so clean and I'm in favor of anything that makes PC building more accessible to a wider audience. So this might be my best in show right here. So this little lever right here will release the GPU both on the power side and the traditional PCIe slot. Again, how easy is this GPU swap with no power cables? Love. So this is Sony Afila's prototype. 
and we're about to check it out. I can't wait to see the interior of this. I've got some beautiful shots of the exterior. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so this car has no handle. It uses facial recognition. Let's see if it works. So I just walk up. Okay. I walk up to... Oh! And we are in. Oh man, this display is cool. Yeah, so this is a welcome animation and everything is customizable. Oh, beautiful. So of course we have in vehicle entertainment that is outstanding. You can watch movies, listen to music, and you can even game. So let's see, oh man, it's my friend Carol's birthday. This is perfect. <laughs> All right, so this just behind me is the immersion part of the demo. And this is how I get to test drive the prototype. Thank you. I get to be in the driver's seat, yes. This was really cool. I like all the entertainment features that I got to see today. And being able to drive and take out Kaiju was awesome. I feel like it would be distracting, IRL. But these are gonna be, these concept cars, which we don't know the name of it yet, it's made by Sony Honda Mobility, and Afila is the name of the brand making the car, not the car itself. Pre-orders are gonna open in the United States first in 2025, shipping in 2026. Do you think this is something you would go for? Let me know, why or why not? And thank you so much to Sony Honda Mobility for the opportunity to check this out at CES this year. This was cool. So that wraps us up for this year's CES. What was your favorite thing you saw? And please let me know in the comments because as one person, it is completely impossible for me to cover everything. I just wanted to share with you the fun stuff that I checked out this year. See you soon.